Welcome back to Vinny's Aquatics. Thank you guys for joining me today. Big news for the channel. We're just about to hit 1,700 subscribers. Thank you guys for all the support. I'm just about to reach my one year anniversary on YouTube. And I tell you what, the second year of Vinny's Aquatics, we're gonna take things to another level. So join me now for Vinny's Aquatics. Tales from the internet. Oh Lord. Beat sand in your aquarium. Listen, I've seen it in Reddit, Facebook, it's all over the internet. People are constantly asking, can I use beach sand? Just regular old beach sand. Can I go get some of that? Can I put it in my aquarium? And look, I'm the first one to admit, I like the look of a tank with sand. Besides the beautiful look, that natural look, there are many benefits to having a nice substrate, a deep sand bed. I can't recommend it enough. The beneficial bacteria, I can't say enough about it. Hey, do me a favor. Hit that like button, and please, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and then smash that notification bell. Thank you. So, it's springtime, it's about to be summer, and all of us remember the times we used to go to the beach. Remember way back when? We used to go to the beach with our friends, you know, just hang out and have a good time. Well, those days are coming back, everybody. Oh, come on, you remember the fun we used to have? Look, don't hassle the hop, all right? <laughs> Does look like a good burger. So Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Anyway, everybody's thinking about let's go back to the beach. Now, I know there are a lot of fish keepers, and you're thinking in your head, hey, this is where I can save some money. This is where I can recoup the money I spent on that flu ball. So... I'm going to go to the beach, and I'm going to get some sand. All right, pump your brakes. Look, before you take your buckets and a bunch of bags, you start to... I'm going to go to the beach, and I'm going to grab myself a bunch of free sand. I'm going to tell you maybe some reasons why you might think that through, and you're not going to want to do that. You know, it really has been a while since I was at the beach. But the last time I was at the beach... I saw this guy swimming, and he starts screaming, Shark! Help! Shark! And I look at the guy, and I'm like, well, that shark's not going to help you. All right, let's give it a go. Beach sand in your aquarium. I mean, can you really do it? Is it worth it? Well, what is the logic behind people who want to take beach sand and put it in their aquarium? I know it's been a while since we've been to the beach. Our esteemed politicians are now opening up the beaches for us, so we're going to be back on the beaches this year, which, you know, it's a good thing. Well, I understand. We go to the beach, and we look, and we see this beautiful, natural environment. And we think, hey, I got an idea. Wow, this is what I think <laughs> when I see people taking beach sand home. And I'm going to explain it to you in a minute. But anyway, here's something I've been thinking about just on top. Let's, let's have an honest moment here. Let's think about it. How much did we spend on our filters, on our heaters, um... My, the LED lights and all the other things that go in our aquariums not even including the fish and let's think about the electric bill we spend a lot of money on our hobby the problem is I don't think this this is where you want to save money I want to make this clear look I'm on a budget I like to save money anywhere I can in this hobby and I got to pay on a lot of you especially the last year you're in the same boat but as beautiful as a natural looking sand bed is, do you need to go to the beach to get your sand? Is it worth the savings? Well, I'm gonna get into that and I'm gonna show you why you probably don't wanna do it. Before you grab your bucket and you run down to the beach and you think you're gonna save yourself a million dollars, let me talk to you.
So why shouldn't you use beach sand in your aquarium? Well, listen, I'm on Reddit a lot, Facebook. I'm trying to see what's going on in the community. And I get this question asked all the time. Vinny, can I use beach sand in my aquarium? Get all that. All right, seriously, there's no such thing as a dumb question, especially in this hobby. Never feel intimidated. If you got a question, just ask it, all right? And if you get a bad response, that's on the person responding. It's not on the question. All right, I'm going to get to it. I hope I don't hurt any feelings, but this is why you shouldn't use beet sand in your aquarium. Now, you can get treated sand, and it makes a great substrate. But beach sand, it's generally polluted and it's going to con contain a bunch of chemical residue, which it's going to harm your fish. Now, logic, it might tell you it's fine to include some in your tank. I mean, heck, it is the fish's natural habitat. However, think about it. The ocean has millions and millions of gallons of water to filter this. Your fish tank, not so much, my friends. So just a few chemicals can really dramatically harm your fish. Now you can put sand in your fish tanks, but make sure you get it from a reputable place. So what's in beach sand? <laughs> get a load of this list. It contains harmful microorganisms, it contains pollutants, contains waste products, contains harmful levels of sodium and acidity. So I definitely wouldn't use that. Oh my God, that's disgusting. Now, think about it, like I said before, we spend a lot of money on our tanks we spend a lot of money on our fish. This is not the place you're going to save money. If you want to make a sand castle, if you want to uh, do a play box for your kids, that's great. If you want sand, go buy sand. I, personally, I use play sand. I have no problem with it. I think it looks natural, and every once in a while, I'll just put a little bit of gravel in there. Just a little bit to give it that more natural look. All right, for you people. What do you mean, you people? I know you're going to say it, and it's been done. Plenty of people have used beach sand. The, the problem to me is, if you use bleach sand in your tank, you got to, it involves a lot of soaking the sand, changing the water, rinsing and letting the sand settle in tank water. This process is, it, it's mind-boggling. It can take so long. And what are you saving? I mean, really, let's be honest. You're not saving that much. There are other ways to save money in a hobby. So listen to me, as far as beach sand goes, save your time, save the effort. Don't bother, right? Like I said, just stop. Just stop it. Those are my thoughts on beach sand. It's not worth the effort. Leave a comment down below if you disagree or if you agree. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you had a great time, and I'm going to see you next time on Vinny's Aquatic.